Equestrian Slam Radio Show. Welcome everybody to the best of the Super Junior Show we're going to do here of Net Uh How's so, it going? It's good to have you there. How you doing, dude? Good, good. How are you? I'm yeah, good, hope mate. everybody's fine. I'm Just good, dude. Into this. I'm looking forward to uh, diving deep as much as we can into the best of the Super Juniors because, of course, you know, um, in my head, uh, you, know, we, we, you hear about it a lot being a wrestling fan and... Um, you don't necessarily think, oh, you know, for me, I'm like, well, how do I watch it? What is it about? And I think this is the angle we're going to go for the show, Eric, because, of course, you phone in and join into the great. community in here a lot and uh, lean into sort of like all the J- Japanese wrestling. And so a lot of us don't necessarily jump into the Japanese wrestling so much, but we're going to oh, try and fair. go at this best of the Super Juniors tournament because, of course, there's a lot of interest from AEW fans as Wheelie Uta's in it. So we're going to go yes, at it as maybe the wrestling layman and Eric can sort of ease us in to the best of the Super Juniors. So I welcome everybody to the show. It's good to have you here. Well, so what do you yeah, think, Eric? It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so, it's the, like, I, like I said, what it's, the is it? it's the 29th. It's uh, the 29th tournament. So what yeah. it is, is it's a round robin tournament. Yeah. Uh, usually with eight to 10 competitors per block, two yeah. blocks. And then there's, uh, so it's a round robin tournament, uh, two points for a win. Right. One point for a draw, okay, and zero points for a defeat. Yeah, and then so what they do is they go through the whole tour. Everybody faces everybody once. Yeah, uh, in, in their respective blocks. So like a and league, they, exactly. Okay, and then they they take it. Uh, the the top point getters make it to the finals. Uh, in a semifinal bout, and okay. then both uh, winners of the semifinal bouts of both blocks face each other in the finals. That's cool. That sounds really good. Yeah. So, so it's pretty fun. It's starting off uh, on Sunday, the 15th of May, yeah. coming up here. So on Sunday, yeah. uh, we got, uh, so like I said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wrestlers per block. So wow. what we'll do right now is uh, we will uh, break down each block one by one, explaining who they are, who's in it and uh, what's going on. But before we get to that, oh. so is it is it like a tour that goes around? How when do they do these ten these yes, these leagues yes. these blocks slash league matches? It is a tour. It's a big this tour a tour from the fifteenth, uh, the May fifteenth, going until the finals on June the third. Wow! So they they get a lot of those matches in then. But in yeah, it's quite a weeks. marathon. Wow! Uh, every other day, I assume there'll be uh, it'll be a, a show every other day. Like uh, they have a little bit of a couple days off. Uh, 15th like maybe like one day off here and there but okay. it's pretty straightforward all the way through until a couple of days off right before the finals uh from may 31st to june 3rd so really that's pretty marathon uh pretty cool. marathon like and eric so what we're wondering as well what is for anyone who doesn't know what is a super junior so why is it a okay, super yeah. junior so this is quite a good, called... good question i think yeah it's uh well junior heavyweight is what they call smaller wrestlers or cruiserweight wrestlers in right. japan okay so uh, the name just came from uh a way of calling it a, like making it pop you know like the best of the super juniors you know the all the the super juniors they call it like they're super they do flips they do right okay. crazy things you know so yeah, that's yeah. that's where that and it's been a i believe it's been called best of the super juniors for quite a long time i would i would have to look into uh when exactly they changed the name to exactly what it is today, but okay. it's uh, it's basically just a way to highlight the junior the differences between junior heavyweight and heavyweight wrestlers in Japan. So cool. and that's been some big cool. past winners of it as well, hasn't it? I mean, we were just doing yes, a bit of talk uh, before we were recording. Like, I, I never even knew Owen Hart won it. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, Owen Hart. Uh, many many unknowns as well because it's it doesn't get the same exposure as say the the heavyweight G one tournament. Yeah, G one. Yeah. yeah. But it's still a very prestigious tournament to win. So, and yeah. Do, they, do the competitors of, go off and have, like, is it a, a, sort of a good stepping stone for the winner to go off and go into the for the, the IWGP title, is it, in, in theory? Uh, the junior heavyweight title, usually. Wow, okay. Uh, usually the winner will get a match uh, unless the champion wins. If the champion wins the G1, then uh, he gets to choose, it, or the, uh, the best of the super junior, he gets yeah. to choose his opponent. So it always depends on um, on what happens, right? Like uh, it's always interesting because wow. there could be a lot of uh, it could lead to like an underdog yeah. or a um, like a favorite or someone you wouldn't expect winning, and then they end up having a title match. If they win that junior heavyweight title, it could completely catapult their careers. Wow! So, wow! 
So it's a pretty important tournament in that sense, for sure. Yeah, this tournament is huge. You look at the ex, the former names of Dean Milanko, Eddie Guerrero, um, you know, Benoit, Owen Hart, David Finley, you know. This, yeah, this, Jushin Liger, Jushin Sasuke. Liger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots, lots, lots. And it, the wrestling matches are badass. And they, there's no, there's no uh, bullshit finishes like these DQs or count outs. It's generally... You know, uh, generally, yeah. I mean, sometimes you'll get some bullet club sh shenanigans. Okay. Uh, but for the most part, it's usually uh, straight finishes. Um, right. Usually a, a couple of upsets, uh, especially with... Uh, sometimes, in especially in tournaments like this, you'll get one where you're like... Oh yeah, this guy's for sure beating this other guy, yeah. and then he doesn't, and you're shocked, shocked, shocked. Right. Uh, so it's usually pretty entertaining for that, and they always uh, give you a good value as well. Like uh, it's always set up for uh, every, like I said, everybody faces everybody, so there's a lot of variety. Yeah. So that adds a very good element that you'll get to see matches that you wouldn't normally get to see. Wow. wow. Uh, so like, uh, you know, just for a quick example, like uh, we're gonna go through the blocks here, but. A couple of these matches I'm really looking forward to because I've either haven't seen them in a long time or have never seen them. Right, yeah. So that's, that's it always adds for a good element to the tournament. It looks um you look at the ex winners, you see Devitt was in there as well. I mean Yep, Devitt, yep, uh Omega. Um Wow, yeah, wow. I mean it's, uh, it's huge. Osprey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is um or, oh, wait, did Omega win the Super Junior? I I don't remember if Omega won the Super Juniors or the G one at or both. I, I, it, it's hard doesn't to look like Omega's when it looking according to the internet. So no, okay. At. Then I believe so, that was Osprey then. But Ricochet, yeah. of course, NXT, yeah. uh, uh, WWE Raw, uh, was he Intercontinental Champion? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, a lot of good talent have won it. So it's, uh, it's uh, like I said, it's not as prestigious as the G1, I guess, but it's still got, in its own right, a lot of years of history and a lot of past winners. So... Don't you think oh, but, there would be something cool? Like, I know it's a different culture in many ways in American uh, wrestling and Japanese wrestling. Um, don't you wish there was a, the Fed, with all their history or something, had a, something like this? Because this seems, it, the, an amazing 29-year-old tournament with all these big names that wrestled in it. I'm like really discovering the history of it right now as we're recording. And you think there's all yeah. this history. They, I mean, they have got their Royal Rumbles and their history. Uh, there there is the King of the Ring. Right? Yeah, like if they, that's kind of a prestigious tournament. But the King of the Ring sucks, though, doesn't it? it did it's not it, done it, like it used to be. No, no not no. at all. Not, you know, last year's one was a toilet. No. Um, oh, yeah. I suppose they've got other things like WrestleManias and things like that to get people into. But, but... imagine an actual round robin tournament that lasted over like a, a three course weeks. of a month. Like sports. Yeah, three weeks to a month. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be very like... interesting. Yeah, man. That's just cool. Cool. Oh, and, uh, should we get same to the with the tag team? Like uh, they do the same thing with the tag team tournaments as wow, well. Really? There's nothing like that in in the Fed either. That would be really interesting. Well, but, they don't like tag yeah. team wrestling over here, do they? No, no, no. Let alone singles. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that for sure. Let's get into it. So uh, we got so like I said, two blocks: uh, yeah. A block and B block. So this year for A block, uh, we're gonna go through A block first. Uh, we got uh, so we got tag team champions on opposite sides. Oh wow! So Risuke Taguchi. Yeah. Uh, who uh, I call him the butt dude. He does a uh, a a hip attack move. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I call him the butt dude. Anyway, he's in uh, he's in uh, block A. Uh, we got Yo, who is part of a tag or used to be in a part of a tag team, but he's on his his own now, part of Chaos. Yeah. Same faction as Wheeler Yuta. Uh, right. So he, All right. Uh, he's uh, in block A. Uh, Clark Connors, who was a wrestler from New Japan Strong in the United States. Yeah. Uh, so he's uh, come over to Japan for the tournament. Uh, former two-time winner, and as we'll talk about in a little bit, my probably my favorite and most people's favorites for winning this tournament for the third straight year, uh, Hiromu Takahashi. Okay. Uh, so uh, the flamboyant, very well well dressed uh, Takahashi is looking for a three peat. Right. Okay. So that, that'll be interesting. Um, and then we got Whiskey Dude, who I uh, Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Yeah. Uh, comes out with a big bottle of whiskey usually. <laughs> so. And he spits it in people's faces. It's oh, man. Pretty good veteran. Yeah, a little ve uh, good veteran. So that'll be interesting. And then we got Ace Austin. Wow. Uh, the, current, the current reigning Impact Wrestling X Division champion. That's cool. So uh, so some Impact Wrestling representation there. Uh, uh, Eric, I haven't... back in the day when yeah. Impact were doing a lot of stuff event New Japan, did any other Impact wrestlers or TNA wrestlers go over to enter it? Uh, oof. Remember that was when Kurt Angle was wrestling, think. wasn't he, over there? Yeah, and... Kurt Angle was over there. Samoa Joe had went over there a little bit. Uh, they did like a, a couple of joint shows as well. Yeah. I'd have to look. I don't, I don't remember offhand. 
but uh, so many years oh, ago. It's yeah, it was quite a long time ago. But uh, actually, I can't believe it. It's almost been like 14 years uh, since that. That's crazy. But wow. uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'd have to look into it. But that I would assume that uh, probably. But okay. Pretty cool. That's uh, quite so, cool. Yeah, it's a nice impact. Uh, it's the only impact star in the tournament, unfortunately. But yeah. at least they got one. Um, and then uh, Alex Zane, the sauce god yeah. uh, from G- uh, GCW fame. Yeah, yeah. He's in the tournament as well. Uh, and then somebody that I've actually never heard of, uh, Francisco Akira, who is uh, the best wrestler out of Italy. Oh, wow. Him. Oh, that's cool. And he was re- recruited by uh, Will Ospreay to join the United Empire faction. That's really so cool. So he's, uh, he's making his New Japan debut, and I- I've never seen him before, so I'm really interested to see uh, how he does. And mm. then uh, we got the reigning IWGP junior heavyweight champion, Taiji Ishimori. Yeah. Uh, so he's also in A Block. And then the uh, former partner of Yo that I mentioned earlier, Sho, uh, from also from Bullet Club. Okay. So uh, rounding out the A Block. So that's A Block. So everybody that I mentioned there will all get a chance to face each other once. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, Taiji Ishimori versus Alex Zane. Is, and is... Uh, a lot of other ones too. There's a lot of good matchups. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best way to look at it. Is this like a situation where going into it, um, for want of a better term, the bookers know who's going to be getting into the final from the start of the tournament? Yeah, just like as a sporting event. Like, I mean, except for maybe when Taguchi, uh, Risuke Taguchi has his matches because he's kind of more of a comedy wrestler. Okay. So he always does like uh, funnier spots where he's, hitting his butt in the guy, uh, you know, butt thumping him and uh, hip, hip attacking him, you know, and yeah, yeah. Just, uh, doing really funny stuff, uh, pretending he's, uh, uh, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura, doing right. Shinsuke Nakamura mannerisms and stuff. So that's more of a comedy style. But I think, yeah, for the most part, I will be watching it uh, as a sporting, uh, more just to see who the, the competition, you know, it's always interesting. Every day they, uh, there's going to be new matchups, different matchups, something something different every day of the tournament so it's it's really that's interesting. really cool what time is it on in the day for you then when you for, uh, for me it's on really 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 early in the morning so i have to get up at five in the morning oh dude uh, to watch it every day except for one day in the tournament it's on at a three thirty in the morning okay so i may have to like miss that one day and then uh watch uh when i get up in the morning yeah but every day is going to be in the morning every single morning yeah Wow. So it's going to be a little bit uh, of an adjustment, uh, but I think it'll be nice waking up, having my coffee, checking out the show. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, I, I believe at the beginning of, uh, from the 15th until the 22nd. So the shows from the 15th to the 22nd are alternating block days. Okay. So there will be some non-tournament matches to start it off, and yeah. then there'll be maybe three or four or four, five five one two three four five tournament matches per show alternating a block b block a block b block and then on the 24th from the 20 may 24th until the finals on june 3rd it is a combined show okay so be how long is each show oh at least three and a half wow uh, hours. okay at least at least and I these are assume. the only matches on the card the super junior best of the super juniors tournament matches uh, they well, well from matches? the 15th until the 22nd there's yeah. uh some some sub matches yeah right oh, okay. and i assume i assume from the 22nd until the finals it'll be uh maybe like a young lion starters match and yeah. then all of the best of the super junior matches yeah because 10 matches on a card that's uh 10 singles matches uh, that's a lot, if dude. they have any if they have anything else it's gonna be too long yeah yeah, yeah. so that's Is there ti- are there time limits on the matches um i believe it's 30 minutes wow okay so then if it's the third, if time limit draw, then they get one point and then right. zero points for a loss, two for a win. So, yeah. And what, so. what happens with, say, the people who have lost a few matches on the, uh, and are they, and they're mathematically out, they still do their match, yeah? Yes, they just have to be, they are, the match orders of the night are based on the standings. So okay. let's say oh. uh, if two people are doing really well on that night, they were supposed to face each other, they'll end up being in the main event. Or if there's two people slumping, and they were supposed to face each other. They'll face each other in the opener. Right. Oh, wow. So oh, that's, that's how cool. it's worked. Yeah. So it's all figured out based on what's going on, how it's booked, what points uh, people, position people are in the tournament. Um, 
which I think adds a lot to it because then that way you're not having a super meaningless match as the main event. You're yeah. like, no, no, the main, the meaningless matches, meaningless, are done. Yeah, uh, are, are on the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's always better. So I love, I love how they do that. I think it's a very, very well thought out uh, process of booking that New Japan does. I quite like that idea as well. It is good. Um, man, this... right, yeah. So Block B. Yeah, we got uh, ten more wrestlers in Block B. Okay, and they're all gonna face each other once during the tournament as well. So Block B, we just started off with the other half of the tag team champions, uh, Master Watto. Yeah. So he is a young, uh, young uh, wrestler. That's uh, I believe this may be his second or third uh, best of Super Junior. So pretty young wrestler. I'm not expecting too much out of him, but should still be some awesome matches. Okay. Uh, and then we all then we got Robbie Eagles. All right. The, uh, Kiwi. Uh, so the uh, from from uh, New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's gonna he's former champion, so he's gonna be having some awesome matches. I expect him to uh, absolutely kill it with everybody that he wrestles. Okay. So that'll be really good. Um, he has a chance to win it. I think he has a chance to win it really? as well. Yeah, like between uh, I'll go over who I think has a chance, best chances after we get through this, but he has one of the best chances I think. Uh, and then following that, we got Titan. From yeah. CMLL. Oh, Titan. Yeah, so I know from him. From Mexico. Yeah, yeah from yeah. Mexico. So from CMLL. Yeah. Uh, they brought him in. Uh, he had a really nice mask. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. At the press conference today, they all looked fantastic. Forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, they looked fantastic at the press conference today. So, so yeah, Titan. And then uh, we got Bushi, which is one of uh, New Japan's regular uh, mask uh, wrestlers from Mexico, yeah. Japan. That Mexico, Japan flair. Okay. So uh, that should be awesome. And then we got the former champion. And also one of the most favorites to win, El Desperado. Right. So that's a masked wrestler with uh, Japanese Mexican ties, because uh, they they're Japanese wrestlers that went and trained in Mexico, and then wow. they came back and they have a mask and they wrestle a lucha libre Japanese so they, they, style. They, before they went to Mexico, they didn't have a mask. No, no. That's so cool. And then they go to Mexico and then they come back and they repackage them as Bushi or. Uh, in this case, El Desperado, yeah. Oh, dude, that's that's yeah, it's very interesting. It is, isn't it? It's a whole different world. And, and, of... and to watch their uh, their 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 growth from yeah, when yeah. they started as a uh, young lion or as a just a regular Japanese competitor, yeah, yeah. And then they go to Mexico and they come back and they have all of these special uh, lucha libre techniques that are just you're just like wow. So yeah, yeah that's really cool. The partnership with uh, Japan and Mexico really produced a lot of uh, cool wrestlers. That is cool. So, and then following that, speaking of that again, we got Duki, who is another one with a face mask, that Mexican-Japanese connection. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a bit of it. So that's another one, uh, part of uh, Suzuki Gun. So that, that okay. he should have awesome matches. I don't expect him to win too much, though. Uh, he's kind of on the lower end, but I still expect him to have some great bouts. Yeah. So, and then we got L. Lindemann from Gleet Promotion. Okay. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really know L. Lindemann too, too much. He looks okay. familiar. He looks familiar, but I don't believe I've watched him too, too Lindemann. much. Lindemann. Yeah, L. Lindemann from mm. Gleet Promotion. Okay. So, G-L-E-A-T Promotion. So, that's just another uh, international. I, I'm not sure if Gleet is within Japan. I, I really, I'm out of I the loop on that. I think it might one, be. I'm not sure. But I think it is. Anyway, another another awesome non-New Japan guy to bring in, which should make for some interesting matchups. Yeah, you're yeah. not always seeing the, the same matchups that you did in previous years. You're getting yeah, a little yeah. bit of a player, so... That's awesome. And then the sentimental favorite, Wheeler Yuta. Well, that's, gonna, that's, that's so going to be the interest for a lot of people to watch AEW, isn't it? So, oh, I'm mean, so excited. He, he he's looks gone, fantastic. He's, I mean, if he was Wheeler Yuta from two months ago, three months ago, it might not have been so interesting. But with this Blackpool no, Combat the, Club stuff. Yeah. He's I mean, more that's vicious. That's what he part said. Part of the reason for doing this show, really. Thank yeah, you, Wheeler really. Yuta. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that's uh, what he said on his uh, press conference, that he was more vicious and you know ready he, he got something unlocked in him by the blackpool combat club so i'm really excited to see what he does uh he is wrestling in the first match of the first show really uh teaming with young lions so oh. i assume he'll probably he'll probably take that first loss uh, being as it's his debut but yeah it should uh as far as tournament matches i'm really looking forward to seeing yuda versus desperado okay yuda versus robbie eagles and uh v- basically yeah Almost everybody, honestly. I think it'll be awesome, whoever he plays. I think every one of his matches will be interesting. Would you call so, this a jumping on point for anyone who wants to sample New Japan? 
Absolutely. Right now is the key points. There's a couple of key points uh, for during the year. There's the beginning of the year when there's Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, there's of course. The, uh, there's the Dominion, which is in uh, June. Yeah. Uh, or, and then there's usually the best of Super Junior Tournament, either before or after, depending how the scheduling is going. And then and when... there's the G1. So there's usually... Uh, the G1 you know, used was no towards the end of the summer. It's now October, isn't it? Yeah, usually it's in the summer. I think they're going to put it back to the summer this year. Oh, it was okay. Just... I think they moved it because of the Olympics. Right. But, okay. uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So uh, that'll be awesome as well. So, yeah, this is for sure a jumping in point for anybody who wants to uh, sub to New Japan World right now. It's completely awesome value. You're mm-hmm. going to get, uh, what is it, 15 shows over the next uh, couple of weeks here. It's uh, absolutely insane. Do you so, uh, foresee any of this tying into the Forbidden Door uh, pay per view of Wheelie Utah? Uh, probably not. Right. Unless they. Um, Unless they do something where he beats somebody and then he gets a rematch. Yeah. Um, or he gets, like, uh, cheated and then they do a rematch at the Forbidden Door. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure, though. It's it's hard to say because you never know what they're planning. Uh, with New Japan main and New Japan strong, it's always, yeah, hard, yeah. To, it's always hard to call. But it would be interesting if they did build something out of it, though, because it could, it could easily uh, – it's a little bit after the tournament, too. So yeah, uh, yeah. it's in June, so – it all lines up to work all out. Lines up too, to so. it. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be awesome. That's We're cool. really looking forward to seeing what Yuta does. And then we got two more. We got uh, TJP. Who oh, was, yeah. uh, uh, where were you? He was. Uh, he was one of the suicides, but Manic. He was TJP. Yeah, he was TJP in WB as well uh, yeah. when he won the Cruiserweight Classic tournament. So yeah, I am yeah. looking forward to all of his matches. Uh, TJP is my girlfriend's favorite wrestler in this tournament. Wow. Really? Except for maybe uh, Taguchi. But okay. yeah, my girlfriend really likes TJP. She he always leaves a very good impression on him on her. So yeah, so really looking forward to that. TJP versus everybody on this list will be great. So yeah, yeah. it'll be good. And then last but not least, we got El Fantasmo. Okay. Uh, which is uh the back to back winner of the Super J Cup tournament yeah. that they do once in a while. Uh and then he's also uh been in Japan, a uh, reliable member of Bullet Club, uh puts on excellent matches, great storyteller. Just, just excellent all around El Fantasmo. So I'm really looking forward to El Fantasmo versus Yuta. That's going to be great. El Fantasmo versus TJP. It's going to be cool. fantastic. You know, a lot of, a lot, a lot of good matches. So some good stuff, uh, man. It's yeah, good. That it's so, exciting. That's a jumping on point. I think I will. Um, absolutely. Do it. Let's do it. It's a pretty, it's pretty cheap uh, sub too. It's only like ten dollars a month, I believe it is, or well, uh, eight pound or whatever it is. Well, I, eight I, nine pound. I've got the so. Benjamins now uh, necro because I found out <laughs> WWE Network were double charging me. I don't know if you heard it on the show. They were double yeah, charging me. Yeah, that's true. Eh? Did you? Cancel? And, and I messaged them and said, "Can I have the money back, please?" And they were like, uh, "No, sorry, we don't do refunds." And I, no. I had to send them the screenshots of my bank and the transactions and things, and the number was exactly the same of, of each transaction taken on the same day of every month. And they um wow. and they finally I said this is terrible customer service you're basically st- stolen money from me and I want the money back and they they actually budged they said well we don't do refunds and they came back and said they will so lucky because uh, I think we could have been speaking about that on the on the main show and uh, throwing them under the that's bus okay. a bit so luckily they are that's giving a... me the refund so. well that's nice of them at yeah, least yeah. But... yeah yeah so now I can yeah, get this like a little extra yeah you can get this you can get IWTV you can could... get anything that... you want yeah yeah man it's giving me so much wrestling. There's a lot of wrestling yeah. to watch, Necro. All right. So, yeah. So, finishing off here, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to a couple of guys that are my favorites to win. Okay. Yeah. Both. Go for it. Who do you think is going to win? So, yeah. I think uh, Takahashi is winning his third straight. Yeah. So, Peacock guy or uh, flamboyantly dressed uh, Hiromu Takahashi. Yeah. I think he's probably going to have some of the best matches of the tournament okay. and probably go tr- uh, back to back to back, probably. And then, if it's not him, I think it'll be El Desperado, uh, the former champion. Right. Or. Or Robbie Eagles, or maybe a wild card. It's really hard to say if they'll do, they'll give it to a wild card wrestler. Like you never know. Like they could just out of nowhere be like, okay, you're making your New Japan debut. We're making you win the tournament. You're gonna win the the IWGP title when you when you challenge. And now we're building this around you. You know, you, you never know. They could totally do that. Yeah. Huh. So uh, it's really interesting. Um. Oh, there's quite like it's almost too many matches to be able to be like, oh, this night will be the highlight of the show yeah. uh, of the whole tournament. I can't even do that because like every other night has a good match. Like May 19th, El Desperado versus TJP. May 24th, uh, you know, we got Yo versus Ace Austin. That's going to be crazy. Uh, 
Like, there's so many. It's so hard to pick uh, a single night. I can't do it, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, lots and lots and lots of wrestling. Non-stop marathon for the month of May. It's exciting. Yeah, it's month, yeah. May and June. May and a little bit, a couple first days of June, yeah. Wow, three so, weeks. It, it, it's pretty crazy because this is all early in the morning. And then on top of all the other independent wrestling or uh, Japanese wrestling that I want to watch, I have to uh, kind of try to fit it in not stay up too late so that I don't oversleep and miss the new Japan. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I when think do you ever get out? Uh, when do you go out? Uh, it's on the weekend. Sometimes oh, usually right. during the, during the day, like there's uh, usually not too much during the day. There's yeah, like, yeah. sometimes it's at night, you know, maybe there's one or two per night. Usually it's not cool, too cool. crazy, but yeah. And I don't know. It's been nice. Uh, my girlfriend's, we went to the restaurant last weekend. It was nice. Oh, that's cool. It was really, really quiet. So it was uh, been, it was a nice, quiet weekend. Now we got the NHL playoffs going on right now. We got freaking football's gonna start in, in Canada for me, Ooh. and then we got freaking uh, we got best of the Super Juniors. We got tons of it. Oh, it's just crazy. Busy, so much so. stuff, dude. It's yeah, good, so though. I think that was uh, that was pretty much uh, the best of the Super Juniors twenty nine. So you're saying Not that the best of the Super Juniors is a great jumping on point for anyone who wants to sample New Japan. Absolutely. Now it won't be probably as hard hitting as the heavyweight wrestling yeah of course you're gonna have more uh, gymnastics more right. athletics athleticism yeah. more um pro- it'll still have tons of storytelling it'll still have tons of uh hard hitting uh wrestling as well okay but it'll be more it's it's junior heavyweight wrestling it's gonna be a little bit faster pace i assume so that's hmm. about the only that's about the only thing i would say uh is to caution is like don't go into this expecting new japan Hard, 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 Brutality, hard. Baby. yeah. No, it's going to be junior heavyweight. Still be excellent. Excellent, excellent. But I... Uh, Is yeah, it a clap-only so, crowd still? Yes, unfortunately, there's still clap-only crowds. Yeah. Um, uh, the only way they're not going to clap is if a wrestler does something crazy enough to make them lose it. Break it. Like, yeah, uh, yeah you know, like there's a couple wrestlers that like Ninja Mac a couple weeks ago was in Noah, 100% success rate to make the crowd... Uh, because of his crazy flips, he really? would just, the crowd would just lose it. Yeah, so that's cool. But that's pretty cool. So uh, that's pretty much it for the tournament. I would uh, from May fifteenth until June the third, two thousand twenty-two, the twenty-ninth edition. So it's uh, got quite a bit of prestige. I'm looking forward to seeing who wins, and uh, maybe we can do something. Uh, yeah, yeah, talking about uh, what the, the, what happens. And we'll do it, mate. We'll do it. We'll do it. it. We'll, yeah. we'll go and watch some, and then we'll get into it. I think we. I can breakfast wrestling, the best kind of wrestling breakfast wrestling <laughs> it's great and you've got ultimate breast breakfast wrestling at five o'clock yeah, it's like so. five o'clock yeah, yeah coffee for sure you get the double double espresso in that <laughs> <laughs> yeah man cool well, all right well, there we perfect. go well thanks necro eric and um thank you everyone who checked out the show thank you podcast listeners remember we'll be live and we are live every sunday across here the information super high for ministry of slam and we've got ministry of horror on uh wednesdays on uh, uh, sorry on you tuesdays did. We've got Tuesday for Ministry of Horror with Tez and lots of other stuff coming up. And uh, thank you very Turner much for checking years. out the show, guys. Turning years as well. Every other week yep. with Barrackley. Retro well. chat with Andy. Yeah, retro chat with Andy. There's lots of stuff on the MOS Network, guys. If you're listening to this oh, podcast yeah. or watching on YouTube, please remember to like and subscribe. You are very welcome to our MOS community. It'd be great to have you here. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Ministry of Slam Radio Show.